This morning, Nicole crashed its way onto Florida's east coast, making landfall on the tiny barrier beach called Hutchinson Island and lashing the coast with heavy rain and wind gusts topping 75 miles per hour. Up the coast, the hours of angry waves swallowed up entire backyards, endangering homes already battered by Hurricane Ian six weeks ago. These homes right here barely hanging on. We do not know. Hey, Carrie, come down here and take a look at this. You can see it's just starting to crumble uh, little by little underneath this house. New drone video shows the beach erosion in Volusia County hours before Nicole's landfall. The storm surge expected to be up to five feet, jeopardizing homes and residential buildings. It's going to be pretty catastrophic for anyone that owns a property in this stretch and really on the beach at all in Volusia County. Local law enforcement deemed 12 condos and at least one hotel at risk of collapse. Authorities evacuated families from at least six of those buildings. Nicole's expected to bring hurricane conditions to most of Florida today. I am most concerned about coastal erosion. Look right behind me, those waves. Every time they hit this bit of sand, more and more falls. For all the drama at the coast, some of the worst impacts may be well inland, where this morning power outages have left thousands in the dark. Most trees can withstand a Category 1 storm, but Hurricane Ian saturated the soil in Florida weeks ago, leaving trees at a higher risk of falling and bringing power lines down with them. With the benefit of daylight now, the damage assessment can take place across the Sunshine State. We do know tens of thousands of power customers woke up in the dark this morning. They will not be able to get their power back until it's safe for line crews to get out on the roads, and that won't happen until the wind dies down later this afternoon. Josh Einiger, ABC News, Jensen Beach, Florida.